Hi, first graders. Today we're going to keep talking about nonfiction text features and learn about two more text features called diagrams and labels. Remember, nonfiction text features are different parts of a nonfiction text that help us learn more as we read. We've already learned about several nonfiction text features, such as the table of contents, headings, bold print or bold words, the glossary, photographs, and captions. Today, we'll talk about diagrams and labels. A diagram is a drawing or a photograph that explains or shows the parts of something. Here in this example, I see a diagram of a flower and the different parts of the flower are labeled. Labels tell the names of the parts of a diagram, photograph, or illustration. Here in this example is a picture of an apple cut in half and all the labels are pointing to the different parts of the apple. For example, here, this label says stem with an arrow pointing to the stem of the apple. Here, this label says seeds with an arrow pointing to the apple seeds in the middle of the apple. Let's take a look at some labels and diagrams in some nonfiction books. Here's a page from the book all about sound that we looked at last week. I'm going to read the words in the page and then look at the two different diagrams. Hearing sound. The wave quickly reaches your ear and goes inside the canal. It bumps a little drum there called an eardrum. Here is the first diagram on this page. This is a picture of somebody's ear, and I notice there's a label right here called sound wave, and the arrow is pointing to these lines that are meant to represent sound waves that travel into your ear. This diagram is showing you how sound travels from where the sound starts to your ear. Here's another diagram. I'm noticing that this looks like the inside of your ear and there's even a caption to help me figure that out. The labels are sound wave, pointing to this little wavy line for the sound wave, canal, which points to this part of your inner ear, and eardrum, which points to this part of the diagram. So this diagram is meant to show me how the sound travels inside your ear. Both of these are diagrams, but they do very different things and show very different things too. Here's another diagram from a book about penguins. This diagram is called Penguin Adaptations. I'm noticing this diagram is a picture of a penguin and there's a few different labels. Let's see what the labels say. This one says flippers with the arrow pointing to the penguins flippers. This one says beak with the arrows pointing to the penguin's beak. This one says layer of fat pointing to the penguin's belly. I'm guessing that means that the penguins have a layer of fat on this part of their body. This label says short waterproof feathers pointing to the back or the gray feathers on the penguin. All these labels are telling me that this diagram is trying to show us the different parts of a penguin that help it survive in the wild. Things like a layer of fat to keep it warm and waterproof feathers so that it doesn't stay wet all the time when it swims. Here's a page from a book about sunflowers. I'm gonna read the words on the page and then notice some of the labels and diagrams. Every sunflower starts out as a seed. After the seed is planted and watered, it grows. First, roots stretch into the moist soil. Oh, I'm noticing a bold word on this page, so if I was reading this book, I could find the word roots in the glossary. Then, a green shoot pokes out of the ground. There's another bold word for the glossary. I gotta keep that one in mind. Now, we've talked about diagrams and labels, but sometimes labels can be not part of a bigger diagram and just pointing out some important things in the photographs. For example, this label says seed, and it's just pointing at this photograph of a seed so that the reader knows that that's what a seed looks like. This label here says roots, and it's not part of a bigger diagram, but it is pointing out part of the photograph that's meant to help you understand that the roots are this part of the plant below the soil. This label says shoot, and is pointing towards this part of the plant. 
That isn't part of a bigger diagram either, but it's meant to help us understand that the word shoot here in the text looks like this. Diagrams and labels can help us visualize and learn more from the pictures and the photographs too. Your assignment for today is this. First, read the book, I Love Hamsters. You can read or listen to the book on Epic or just read the PDF copy that's posted on Google Classroom if you haven't set your Epic account up yet. Then complete the diagrams and labels worksheet using one of the diagrams in the book. Have fun, first graders.